Hi, so we're in Autodesk Inventor 2018, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at 3D modeling today. So that it's the basic, at its most basic, 3D modeling in Inventor is using the Extrude tool, okay? You can do a lot with it, you can do tons of stuff with it, in fact. So, um, first thing we're going to do is to create a sketch, okay? So you have, when you're, when you're 3D modeling in Inventor, basically what you're doing is you're creating a sketch and then you're applying a 3D uh, feature to that sketch. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do that. So we're gonna take us, start with a sketch, right? We're gonna uh, click 2D sketch, choose a plane, okay? There we go, now we're in sketch mode. We know we're in sketch mode because we have the green check here. We see sketch one on the model tab, right? And we're in the sketch uh, tab up top, turns green. Okay, the very first thing we're doing, we're just gonna make a block. So we're gonna click, drag, or sorry, click, move the mouse, click. We're gonna dimension this to be uh, four inches. Oh, look at that, it disappeared. Okay, so what we're gonna do if it disappears, we're just gonna go over to this browser bar and click view all. Then we're gonna click on the side, pull out, click, and we're gonna make that. We're actually gonna, instead of making a number here, we're gonna to refer to the other dimension. So we're gonna click on the other dimension and look at that, it typed in D zero. Okay, so that's the variable name for that dimension. And we're gonna put forward slash two for divided by two, okay? We could even do something more complicated like forward slash two and then put that in parentheses then add one if we wanted to, okay? So you can make a fairly complicated uh, formula. Uh, we're well, not complicated, just using basic math, you know, your basic math uh, um, that you would use. So, so there we have it. So we have our, our, our uh, uh, rectangle there. Okay, let's say we go finish sketch Okay, and um, we're going to go ahead and extrude. So we've finished sketch, we're now in 3D mode. So we're gonna click extrude. And notice that because there's, uh, there's an area to select there, there was just one area, right? Uh, it automatically selects uh, and it gives us a uh, uh, depth of one inch, right? We can also change the direction it's gonna go. We can put the sketch right in the middle as well. Okay, we're gonna accept the defaults here and click okay. So there's our basic 3D model right there. All right, now let's say, um, let's say that I wanted to extrude it, but I wanted to leave some space out in the middle, okay? Well, what I could do if I didn't want to make the sketch, so I can go over into this model, uh, model tab here. If I didn't want to remake the sketch, I can go find my extrusion. See, I have extrusion one, and you can see that sketch one is contained in there. I can double click that sketch and go back into the sketch, right? Now let's say I wanna put a circle right in the middle. So I add the circle, right click OK to exit the circle tool, click dimension, click, move the mouse, click. And we let's make it one inch, right? And then we're gonna space it out. So we're gonna click the circle, we're gonna click the top line of the rectangle, move the mouse, click again. Okay, in this case, we're going to refer to the uh, height of the rectangle by D1. We're gonna divide it by two. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna click on the circle, click on the side of the rectangle, move the mouse up and click to place the dimension. We're gonna to refer to the width and divide it by two. And that way we get a circle that's directly in the center of the extrusion. We go ahead and click finish sketch. Now what you notice here is that nothing happened to the extrusion, right? It didn't add the hole there, nothing, right? So what we need to do in this case, we actually need to remove the extrusion and re-extrude. So how do we do that? We have to right click, we go find the extrusion over in the model bar. We right click and click, and click delete. Uh, then we're gonna uncheck consume sketch, click okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and extrude again. So okay, so notice that this time it doesn't select automatically because there are two areas here. So we're gonna click the outside area, click okay. And notice now we have this nice extrusion there. The other thing we can do with extrude is we can, let's say we want a second extrusion on here. So we're gonna go ahead and make a 2D sketch. We're just gonna choose one of the surfaces now to put the sketch on. So notice now we're in sketch mode and we can see the sketch lives on the surface there. We're gonna make another sketch here. This time we're just gonna make a circle to extrude. Dimension the circle to one inch. Actually, we're gonna dimension it to less because that's gonna take up our entire area. We're in 0.75 inches, right? Okay, and again, we can uh, go ahead and, we could go ahead and dimension to the side here, okay? Now notice that uh, that we'd have to go, uh, we just have to, 
we don't have another dimension to refer to in this case. So we're just going to make it 0.5. And then we're going to go over to the side to fully dimension it. And we're going to make that 0.5 also. Finish sketch. And then with extrude, you can not only make material, okay, you can also cut material, okay? So let's say in this case, we wanna, um, we wanna select the, so we're gonna select the profile, okay? Notice that we're gonna make more material and we're gonna click okay. We can also put another sketch right on there, okay? And we can also make another circle, okay? And dimension it, okay? And oops, did the same thing again. We're gonna make that 0.75. And we can go ahead and make the, the equal distance there for 0.5. And, whoops. And we can go ahead and make the distance from the side there also 0.5. And then we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. Now this time when we extrude, so we're going to click extrude, select the circle. This time we're going to cut, okay? And we can cut an inch in. We can also select through all, okay? We'll click OK. Now your interface here might look something like this. If I click View User Interface Mini Toolbar. So yours might look more like this. If I go back into this extrusion, you might have something that comes up like this, which is fine, okay? It's that identical, two identical interfaces. The Mini Toolbar just is a, is a convenience, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use the Mini Toolbar for the rest of this. All right, so there we have our, uh, our two first three types of extrusions, right? We have our initial create, we have our join, and then we have our cut. Okay, so, um, and we remember that if we want to edit an extrusion, we can go back in, say we don't want it through all, we want it to be uh, distance, we can change it to one inch instead. Click the green check. Okay, now finally what we're going to do is we're going to add one last sketch to the side, and this time we're going to make an ellipse on the side, okay? And ellipse... Okay, all right, click OK. We're going to dimension it. Okay, in this case, we're going to do 1.25, and we're going to do the other, and we're going to make that 0.25. Let's make that, let's not make that 0.25, let's make that 0.5. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and make the distance here 0.5. Okay. Uh, all right, so that is dimension there, and then we're going to finish sketch. The last, the last type of extrude we're going to make here is that we're going to make what's called an intersect. All right, now if you drop down menu here, an intersect, uh, we're going to go ahead and click through all. Okay, and click uh, green check. And if you notice, that's what's going to we're going to leave that intersection there, and it actually only leaves material that is intersected by the extrusion. So those are the three types of extrusion. Uh, I hope that it helps. Thank you.